Welcome back to Robominions.in AI interview preparation app. The topic of this video is finding height of a tree. Uh, before tracing the code for finding height of the tree, I'd request you to watch this video on a bigger screen or a laptop. Uh, if you are watching it on a phone, please make it as a full screen and uh, please place, uh, place the phone horizontally with a full screen. Let's uh, start tracing the code. We have uh, hash include stdi.h, then hash include stdlib.h. Uh, I'm repeating this once again. Uh, please focus on the arrow. Wherever the arrow goes, that is the line of execution of the code. So arrow goes to the line where the code is getting executed. Now we have hash include binary tree, binary underscore tree underscore create.h header file. So this part of the code will create the binary tree with the default values 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. This part of the code has already been explained in the video DSA 41 creating binary tree. If you want to watch how the binary tree is created, please go to that video, watch it and then you'll understand the code. Uh, if you have already done and know how this works, please uh, continue. Then by clicking next, we continue. We go to int main, we have int main, then we have node star root equal to create binary tree. So create binary tree function is present in binary tree create.h header file. So we create the binary tree from that. Then we do we have a then we have a printf height of binary tree. So we find the height of binary tree by calling the function height in bracket we send the root. So root is pointing to this node. So that is when you call when you just send root it is address hash 100 of this node. So you are sending the address and in the height function you have a node pointer which receives itr receives the hash 100 address and it points to this node okay now we have left left height equal to 0 right height equal to 0 now the focus the target node is this one itr not this node is not equal to null yeah it is true it is not equal to null left height equal to height of iter iteration left so itr left is hash 200 so hash 200 so hash 200 is this node that is a left node so we go back to height function left height equal to 0 right height equal to equal to 0 now again itr is this node is not equal to null that is true again go does a itr left it goes to again left node now this time it is hash 400 so we have gone to hash 400 so left height, uh, left height for that we have called the function height again recursively. Left height equal to zero, right height equal to zero. Now again itr, this this node is not null, so it again goes to itr of left. So uh, again a height is called function is called sending itr of left. So itr is pointing to left that is null. So so height is passed with null argument so this time we have uh, itr not equal to null is false because null is so itr is null null not equal to null becomes false it that returns it goes to return zero so for this node height is zero on the left side height is zero on the left side now for this node we we'll let's check the height of the right side so it goes to right height height itr right itr right is null so goes to height uh, itr is null when we call the function height of uh, argument is null so itr no, null not equal to null is false that returns zero so right height is right side height is zero so now if left height for this node left height greater than right height both are zero so zero greater than zero is false so it returns else it returns right height plus one so left height greater than right height no it is not false so zero plus one is returned to this node that is a node with the data 11 so that will become the left height so left height equal to one uh, one because see you can have, we have already marked green okay now for this node we go to the right side so by clicking next you can see I have gone to the right side because we have height of itr right 
so iteration pointer right so we going to we have gone to this node okay now it will go to the uh, height function again now itr is not a null it is a valid node so it goes inside the if condition so it goes inside the if condition now left height of this node is is calculated since itr left is null so height of null is passed so height of null is received null not equal to null is false uh, false it returns zero so left height of this node is zero so left height equal to zero now we go to the right height equal to height of itr of right so it uh, itr of right of this node is null so height of null so null not equal to null is false that also is returned zero so both left height and right height is zero so when you come to the if condition for this node you have zero greater than zero because both the height are zero right because there is null there is no child so there is no height so it goes to the else part the node itself is counted so we return right height is zero plus one so one is the height of the node itself so that is returned back to the right side of this node so when i click next so now right height is one for this node so when i do again next so for this node we have left height one right height one one greater than one is false it goes to the else part so what it does is returns right height is one plus height of the node itself is one so one plus one two is returned as a height left height to this main node root so when i do click return it goes to the left height so left height equal to two for this node now we go to the right side of this node so when i click next so you will go to this node so when i click next here so you can see right height equal to right height equal to height of itr right so itr right is this node and then we go inside the height function now we go inside the height function left height equal to 0 right height equal to 0 uh, this is a valid node it's not equal to null so that's true it goes inside left height equal to height of itr left so itr left of this node is hash 600 so it has gone to hash 600 node so now it uh, tries to find the height of the child of this node right so let's go inside so it goes inside left height equal to 0 right height equal to 0 itr so this node is valid node itr not equal to null true so let's calculate the left height of this node and right height of this node so let's first calculate left height left height so height of itr left itr left is null here so height of null is null is passed to the height function recursively called function so int then we have int left height equal to 0 right height equal to 0 so we have itr is null right so because it is null here left child is null so null not equal to null is false so return 0 because this is childless so that is returned 0 then we have right height right height is height of iteration right so itr of right is itr of right is also null so it goes to height int left height equal to 0 right height equal to 0 itr not equal to null false this is equal to null so it comes to the return 0 so 0 is returned so the right height equal to 0 for this right height equal to 0 so then we check the if condition for this node 0 greater than 0 is false because we have left height 0 right height 0 so 0 greater than 0 is false it comes to the else part and returns right height plus 1 that is because right height is 0 the node itself is counted for the height so 0 plus 1 is 1 so 1 is returned to the left height so left height equal to 1 then we go back uh, so left height is equal to 1 is sent to this node and then we we find the then we go to this node to find the height so then we go to the right right height so this is the node target node now so itr of right so itr of right is this node so height so we have left height equal to 0 right height equal to 0 then itr this node is not equal to null is true it goes to 
left height so left height of this node is this is node has a left is null so height of itr of left is itr of left is null so height of null so let's go to the function so we have itr is null here null not equal to null is false returns zero so left height is zero for this node then we check the right height so right itr of right is null so goes back to the height function then we have itr is null null not equal to null is false returns zero so right height is also zero now we go to the if condition so for this node we have left height zero right height zero so zero greater than zero is false comes to the else part then we have return so we have zero plus one so we are we are uh, counting the height of this node itself that is one so right height is zero but counting the height of this node itself it will be one so it will be turned green and sent back so right height is returned as this is been turned green and one is sent back so when i click next now in the if condition you can see we are going we are in this node now it has a left height one right height one one greater than one is false comes to the else part and then we return right height one plus height of the node itself is one so two so height is so height of these three node will be this is one height this is second height so that will be returned to this node as a right height so when i click next so now right height so for this node right height is 2 so now you can see if i click next left height is 2 right height is 2 2 greater than 2 is false goes to the else part returns right height plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 so 2 plus 1 height 1 height 2 plus 1 is 3 so height of the binary tree is 3 1 2 and 3 so that is the result that is how the height is calculated returns from the main function the time complexity as we are iterating through all the nodes it is order of n okay if you want to access this code it is available in the code button here in the robominions.in ai interview preparation app this app after watching the video this app will help you revising all your concepts before going to the interview you can quickly run through the code and uh, revise all your concepts okay thank you guys uh, see you soon signing up dhananjay sharma founder of robominions.in don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel share with your friends and family visit robominions.in website Crack your toughest coding questions and tech interviews by downloading latest version of the app and make your coding easy. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.